Okay, so what if you were given two, weren't given a line, and but were just given two points to find the slope of the line? So what I have, find the slope between two points. And they gave you, let's say, um, the point 210 and... 516. Okay. So we could graph it and then count like we've been doing. So let's let's do that first so we can see. So on my x I'm going to I'm going to count off by 2s on my y. just so they all fit on here. Okay, so I have the point 210. So 210, I graph that, and then 516. And you'll have to forgive me, I don't have a straight edge. So I draw a line between those two points, and now I can find the slope between the two points. So if I look at, if I look at the how far I go in the horizontal direction versus how far I go in the vertical direction. So I went one, two, three forward. So three in the horizontal. Remember the horizontal goes in the bottom. Um, I don't know if the fancy symbols help or not. It's the rise over the run or the the rise is the y's, right? The y is the vertical over the run. So we went forward. The change in our x was 1, 2, 3. And we went up. Remember, these are by 2's. We went up 2, 4, 6. So we went up 6. So we get, if we reduce this fraction, we can think of it as 2 over 1. So for each 1 forward, I go 2 up. Uh, and so that's how we would do it with the picture, which is what we've been doing. But what if, could we figure this out without the picture? So if I look at my x's, what's the difference between 2 and 5? 3. So I start at 5, and I count, right, how do I find how long the distance is between 2 and 5? Well, I subtract. So I'm going to take my and subtract the 2. So, and that's what goes on the bottom, right? That's my change in x. That's how much my x changed. But if I start at the 5, right, um, the change, to measure the change in the y's, I take the 16 and I take away the 10. So minus 10. And sure enough, Right, I get 6 over 3, which is the same as 2 over 1, just like I did by doing it with the picture. And so on the top is the change in y. So to find the change in y, I took the y value from the second point they gave me and subtracted the y value from the first point they gave me. And then I took the x value from the second point and subtracted the x value from the first point. And this is the slope formula that you so often see. And all it is is finding the distance between the y, the points, the y values that they gave you for your points over the distance between the x values that they gave you. Change in y over change in x. And you can do that by counting it off, or we could do it with subtraction um, in this formula. So that's how you find the point between two, or the, excuse me, the slope between two given, any two given points.